Hi, Craft. <laughs> Hi crafty friend, it's Justine. I am feeling a little bit under the weather for the last few days, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little off, but that's just kind of the way the cookie crumbles. And I tried resting and I just think the, the end of the school year has gotten to me a little bit, so, but time's ticking away and I gotta keep on going here. So um, pardon the scratchy voice and I hope you enjoy today's card. I am going to use the Country Road Collection by Annie Williams this time and I decided to make kind of a cutesy cat card <laughs> if you will and just kind of summer a summery springy look. So I went ahead and made the fence already and I used that with die cuts for the fence and I just trimmed it down to be uh, five and a quarter by four inches. That's what the white paper is. And then I have four or three of these little sprigs. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue those on now. And I wanted these to be kind of lively so I'm only gluing on the bottom right about there and I want them to go on the edge but not off of the edge on this card and my voice is <laughs> really different so again I'm so sorry but I don't know the air quality has been horrible in Minnesota especially in our area right now there are some wildfires in Canada so I'm so sorry if you're affected by that but um, yeah, it's smoky here and I really don't even know if I am dealing with allergies or if I am dealing with a cold or just effects from poor air quality. It might be a combination. So yeah, it's just the way it is. But maybe a cute card will make me feel better. <laughs> so for this part, I die cut out the post, which is on the brown cardstock. And then I added the sign holder right on the back like that. And then I took the little vines that are kind of supposed to be for the pumpkins and gourds. And I just kind of slid them up on this piece to have it look kind of like a vine growing up the post. And I'm going to stick this post rather high up because I want the sign to have space to hang right about here. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this part on. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm going to make the whole sign first. I'm getting ahead of myself. I just thought that was really clever, so <laughs> I was excited about it. Um, let's make the sign. <laughs> I went ahead and stamped out the sentiment, plant kindness and gather love. And that is from the stamp set for this collection. I just thought that that would be kind of a nice sentiment for on different occasions. I really think that that would be fine for a birthday, a summer, it's like a spring, I don't know, just a thank you card, all sorts of different things. And I just went with that, but the sentiments on the stamp set are really versatile and I enjoyed it looking through them. I really think it's clever when they do collections or just, yeah, I guess collections that are different that are suited for different seasons so this one is one of those collections where it has something for spring summer fall and winter and more so it's not just the seasonal stuff but I just think that that is a really good bang for your buck <laughs> when you're looking at craft supplies now this little die cut makes it look like there is a sun and I just think that that is so sweet. So let's just plop that on right about there. Then now let's see, I have a couple more pieces for my sign here. Um, this is for the top of the post. These two pieces are supposed to be kind of like the chain of the sign getting things all over aren't I and then these little bell shaped pieces go on the back and top of the sign so I'm just going to add the glue to the cardstock because I used the gold mirror cardstock to make the gold parts and the gold mirror cardstock is really slippery it's super smooth and 
anytime I use liquid glue, things are moving. So I think when it's on the regular cardstock, it has a little bit more of a chance of holding where I want it to be without it going nuts. Then I'm going to make the top of the sign. I'll just let that sit. And we'll glue this on. I hope you're doing so well. Like I said, the end of the school year is upon me. <laughs> and we have graduation tomorrow. Um, when this video is posted, it will be, let's see, today's Thursday. Yeah, graduation's this weekend, I guess. Um, oh, slippery cardstock. Um, so it's just, it's a really fun time of year and last night we had the senior dinner which is always just such a nice time um i don't really know of another way to put it but all the high schoolers go to someone's house and we just have a nice little party and it's just so nice i am really thankful to be a part of such a wonderful school and i just really i was feeling the love if you will <laughs> yesterday <laughs> at our senior dinner now for this part I'm gonna add the glue on the gold mirror cardstock and then I'm gonna let it sit because I want it to be kind of tacky because I'm gluing gold mirror cardstock to gold mirror cardstock and that can kind of get slippery so I added the glue I'm gonna let that sit and as that kind of sets for a minute I'm gonna add my birdhouse to the top of this post now the bird house, I use the die cuts to make. I kind of modified it a little bit and made it my own. Just why not, you know? <laughs> but I just thought that that would look kind of cute on the top of the post. Plus it had a little pop of color with the blue. And I'm using these two cats. How adorable are they? Let's get the black cat in first. I wanted the black one to be in the back because you know kind of perspective of colors if it's farther away it might have kind of like a black silhouette so that cat's gonna go right about here and then I suppose I can glue this one down the sign's gonna be somewhere around here maybe I'll put that one higher okay I'm gonna put this bush kind of under this cat and I just kind of went crazy with all the different colors. I used a whole bunch of scraps, really, to make all the different leaves. And that was kind of fun. I love using up my scraps and just kind of using what I have in my own stash already to just make different things and get creative with what I have. But now this little kitty, I need some foam squares. I wanted to pop this one up. I have these spell binders, foam squares. These are the two millimeters. They're nice and small, so they are perfect for this little cat. And they're not too much of a dimensional square. It's not going to send this cat into next week, you know. All right. I hope you have enjoyed being a subscriber. Those of you who have subscribed, I have really tried to stay consistent on YouTube for about a year now and I see my channel growing and I see so many sweet comments. So thank you so much. If you are a subscriber, I really appreciate it and it just helps my channel reach more people, I guess, when you subscribe. and like and comment so thank you for doing that those of you who do it all the time you know who you are and you're the bomb <laughs> I'm a millennial so I say things like that um, but I just I really appreciate all of the love that I've gotten I know sometimes the internet can be kind of a, a weird place but I have experienced really nothing but love which I am super thankful for Okay, now I'm gonna put this sign on and I want the vine to be in the front, so I'm gonna just kinda tuck those under. And this might be something that I need to glue and let sit, or maybe I should glue this on the project. 
So I really feel like these little pieces are not going to hold. Okay, we're going to pivot <laughs> and just try again. Now I left this bush kind of empty in the center because I wanted the post to kind of come from the center like so. Cooperate. And that's going to go right about here. So let's just add a tap. Okay, okay, calm down. No need to panic. I can't handle my voice right now. I hope it's not so annoying. To me, I just, ugh, I don't know. If I could make it better, I would before I started filming. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> now, is this too far over? I don't know. Let's see. I don't want to cover up the birdhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to scratch the idea of that being in the bush because it's too far to the right and I really did want this to be close to the left and this post not me reaching the ground isn't a big deal because we're going to just cover it with a bush. <laughs> it's not going to come from the center, but okay, let's just make some bubbles. I added a whole bunch of new glue in my Barely Art liquid glue. I just got my refill, which is the bear. You guys, this is so cute. Once I put this down, I'm going to have to show you because it's hilarious. I just love the refill bottle. It's a whole bear, which is totally on brand for Barely Art liquid glue. Okay, I'm just going to kind of gently press that down. Okay, hang on, let's grab this bear. Could it be cuter? <laughs> so here's the main bottle that I usually use, and right now I just squeezed it a little too hard, so I'm gonna put the needle in. Um, this is the one I usually use. I do like this tiny bottle that isn't from Barely Art, but I add glue in it often. I just haven't for a while. But now that I have the refill, this little guy is going to get some some glue and it should be good to go again. But I do prefer using the little one when I'm filming normally because that is really loud on camera. And I plop my glue bottle down like that a lot <laughs> because I'm not thinking about it at all when I am filming. And yeah, it just kind of is loud on the post when I'm editing and... Eh. I don't want to hurt your cute little ears, all of you adorable crafters out there. So, <laughs> normally I use the little glue bottle. I am feeling all over the place. I have a little bit of caffeine this morning, so I'm feeling a little froggy, a little wild, which is kind of what I needed since, like I said, feeling under the weather. But the show must go on for YouTube's sake, you know? Okay, I'm just going to kind of sneak that in there so it holds a little, and then I'm going to put the sign over it. So I'm hoping that that's going to stay. Fingers crossed. Now the next one. Like so. Perfect. Ish. <laughs> Perfect-ish. I don't know. That should do it. With all this random fuzz. Perfect. Love that. And <laughs> no, the sign. And then you might have guessed it, but I'm going to put these flowers going up the post with all the vines just to kind of be, I don't know, like a little, um, man, I can't think of the name. Not morning glory, even though that is a clematis. Clematis is what I was thinking of. My mom used to have one at our old house and I always thought it was super cute. So that's definitely the inspiration from the, these flowers for me. Okay, work with me chains. There, it just gives the illusion that it's hanging. It's doing its thing. Lovely. Okay. Let's add the bush and then finish up with the flowers. This green should work just fine. Is it a perfect match? No, 
but it is technically the back of the bush or the like the back of the picture so it can be darker and it's no big deal all right so bush number two is on now the flowers I kind of wanted to have them climbing so I'm gonna kind of spread them out and I don't want to cover up too many of the curly parts because I think that these little curls are just so stinking cute. So let's not cover those up. Something like that. It's kind of natural-ish. Five seems like a lot. Maybe I should do three. Three doesn't seem like enough. Cool. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That looks like a good placement to me. Now, I know this collection came out earlier this month, but I did a few videos with it already. So if you're looking for more inspiration with this collection from Annie Williams and Spellbinders, go ahead and check out my channel because I did make, let's see, I think one other video, if not two. I know I made one with the wheelbarrow for sure but oh the, the third one is still coming this month may is not over you guys <laughs> there's still time and um yeah there's there's some more coming so here we go so i hope you are inspired i think if i did remake this card i just might have made some kind of a sky background maybe with some clouds like a stencil or something but I do kind of like the just simpleness of this one and just kind of let the dyes speak for themselves so there you have it I hope you enjoyed today's card and I hope you're having a good May if you've enjoyed this one let me know in the comments and go ahead and subscribe for more videos just like this in the future we'll see you next time bye bye